Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today I want to take a look at the new alliance tournaments that are in beta right now. Uh, when I first introduced the new patch notes, I gave this mode a lot of flack. I said a lot of uh, short negative comments about it, and so I felt like it was only fair and necessary that I go into this game mode now that it's actually live and we can see it. It's not actually live, but at least we can read everything, we, we get a gist of what's going on. I have a pretty good idea of how this is going to play out, and I can give some more in-depth uh, thoughts and you know create some discussion about this because I don't just like saying something negative and then writing it off I like to get a closer look before I take an actual dump on something uh, you know verbally so let's uh, let's get our toilets ready uh, so this is the, the way that it looks here it's got a snazzy little uh, design with the graphic I like the cup it looks cool we've got the top 16 teams now you're wondering how the top 16 teams get selected well when you go into your alliance and you go to alliance battle, these teams here is how they uh, adjust for that. Uh, there's a little bit of a question as to uh, when these rankings were pulled. They obviously weren't pulled now because there are teams that are ranking at the top that weren't uh, here a couple of days ago. And you know, our favorite team, that Korean team with like 25 wins, uh, is all the way at the bottom. I can't even scroll there sometimes because there's a weird glitch in the scrolling. But yeah, they're rank 41. So they would not have, um, I guess, qualified for this tournament. I'm not sure exactly how uh, the top 16 teams are pulled, how they're how they're chosen, but it kind of tries to explain things here. I'm, I assume it's based on their scores from last week's alliance battle, but it might not be a weekly thing. This might be like a monthly thing, so then it might aggregate the uh, the scores differently. But anyways, you only get the top 16. Uh, you know species of whale in these uh, alliance tournaments and the rest of us uh, drooling noobs and plebs and pleberinos are uh, just here for uh, cheering and to spectate you know this is the Colosseum and we're the people that get fed to the lions so uh, we should know what kind of lions we're getting fed to so basically the way that it works is the teams get um, matched up together uh, and then what happens is that they will fight each other um, now, judging based on this map, map here, where it shows like a score for each individual character, um, and I, I really think it's cool. Like this, this looks all really cool. It just sucks that we can't do it. I want to see my name here. I want to see my alliance members' names here, who put so much effort into the game, and who you know are real big tryhards like me, uh, but secretly noobs like me. Uh, but we can't because we're not in the top 16. So whatever. But anyways, it looks like uh, based on the description of this here, every alliance member gets one opportunity to attack each. And then if you win the attack, you get points. And then the alliance with the most points at the end win. It sounds very similar, if not exactly the same as uh, in Clash of Clans. It's a very popular mobile game that maybe some of you people listening have played where you do clan wars. It sounds just like clan wars, except instead of having a town that you attack, I'm, I'm guessing that you have to set a team as your like attack and defense. Maybe you get to set two teams. One team is your attacking team, one team is your defend defending team, the way that you can have multiple village setups for clan wars. Or maybe you just have to field your, you know, your top team like timeline, and then it's all manually controlled like live battle world. I'm not sure. Uh, we obviously don't have any um, actual game pay play from it because it starts in 11 hours, the very first one. But that is my guess as to what's going to go down. Um, I'm hoping that it's live because if it's not, this is going to be a pretty big joke. Um, and I'm not sure. Well. Actually, to say this, if it's not live, if it's if it's like timeline, it's gonna be a, it could could be interesting because then it, it's gonna force a lot of teams to try and think up uh, defensive teams and try and think up uh, you know which characters play the best on auto. Shirog, for example, there are a couple of there are a couple more, and there are actually some unlikely candidates. You know, as as strong as Loki is, and as strong as he can be in timeline when he's manually controlled. When he's auto-controlled, he's actually terrible. So it's going to be interesting if, in a way, if it's auto, but I hope to God it's not auto because most of the skill is taken out of the game when it's on auto, uh, especially when you're fighting against a computer and it's obviously not as satisfying when you win. So it seems to be um, uh, some system like that where you get... Uh, points for killing the other team or taking them down. Uh, it might, you know, the points will obviously vary if all of your uh, team members survived or if only one survived. Uh, it would be cool if they shoot showed highlights for us plebs to watch, you know, um, but maybe that won't happen. 
Um, and then you also have this cheer system, and that's where us Nubarinos come in. Uh, basically, we have to uh, cheer. I've already cheered for Secret Avengers. That's what those crazy characters over there mean. Um, but you can basically cheer for your uh, favorite alliance or the alliance that you think is going to win. Because let's be honest, if you have a favorite alliance in this game and it's not your own, you need to seriously consider your priorities in life. Anyways, um, you cheer for your favorite team and you probably don't cheer for any of the teams that you can't scroll down from. But you might if they have a particular flag from your country. To me, this honestly just looks like a, a popularity contest between flags because most people don't know who the fuck is on he Indo Heroes or Turkey A, but they do know the flags and they do know the language. So I think what this right now cheer status is more representative of is the fact that we can't really see the American flag because it's half British and we know how much Americans really feel about the British. Um, and then it also lets us know that there are a good number of people who are Korean that play this game, which is true. And there are a crap ton of people who play this game uh, from Indonesia and other, you know, southeastern Asian countries. So that's cool and all. I'm not, you know, I'm not one to like uh, shy away from a popularity contest, having never won one before in my life. But uh, I think they could do something a little bit more creative than just the thumbs up. And they literally just lifted it off Facebook, it looks like. It's even got the little cufflink dot thing, but whatever, fine, okay, sure. Um, so yeah, the tournament rules, it's all here, guys, you can read it. It just goes from 16 down to uh, finals. Like, as we said, you get points for winning, and you get the VIP reward. The VIP reward is like a chunk of crystals. It's, it's, like, it's basically like the Alliance Battle um, MVP from the, from the top ranking uh, Alliance, except you also get these weird uh, chests, which they don't say, they say it's mythical and legendary, I'm guessing, but then it says heroic. So I was originally guessing that those were cards, because mythical and legendary are cards, but heroic doesn't sound like a card to me, so it could be another set of like rewards. That box could have like a couple of things inside, like dimension debris or bios or something like that. They get a million gold. Uh, we get a little bit of gold for cheering, which is cool, but again, it's just gold. Gold is not that hard to farm anymore. Um, so I'm still, yes, very salty that we don't get to do this and that we don't get to play this. Um, and that's what leads me into kind of the final discussion for this video. I'm trying to keep this one short, guys. Um, basically, why can't we have this for everybody? Um, is it an issue of server space? Is it an issue of like clutter on the uh, on the UI? Is this there? Is this is this beta version what they're using to then export to you know and extrapolate to having for everyone in the game? I mean, I'm not trying to compare this game to Clash of Clans in terms of like uh, player player base and uh, you know funding uh, finances because I, obviously I know Clash of Clans is one of the most Sex, success, successful, wow, sexually successful. YouTube gone wrong, YouTube gone sexual. It's uh, it's obviously way more successful than this game has been. Uh, Clash of Clans is like probably one of the most, uh, you know, highest uh, paid games or, you know, bought for games behind like Candy Crush or whatever. But, um, you know, I wonder if that's the reason why. And I'm a little disappointed if it is, because there's obviously nothing we can do about that other than emptying our wallets in uh, futile uh, hopes. But uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm keeping my uh, fingers crossed here, uh, that this is kind of the precursor to something that we can all do, because this just looks too fun to be limited to the top 16 teams. And it also means that I'm going to have to be a scumbag and try to get into one of these teams and leave my current alliance, which I love dearly, because uh, I really want to fucking play this, you know? Um, having re having game modes in the game that most of the player base is not privy to is a really big turnoff, especially for veterans and especially for people who pay uh, but then don't get to play. You know, you could be VIP 20 and not be in one of the top 15 alliances and you would feel like crap right now. And your crap, the, the, the crap that you feel is justified. You know, I'm not saying that just because you pay you are entitled to, you know, anything you want, but it's it's it feels dirty when because you're not in a competitive alliance and alliances make up only a small portion of this game keep in mind like alliances are not the focal point of this game you know this is still a single player game it's mostly a game of exploration and like there are a lot of it is like self rewards and you know uh, intrinsic achievements the game is not built as like a competitive uh, player versus player game. That's that, that's not the core of this game. You know, the core of the game is collecting heroes and leveling them up. And that's a, that's a that's a game you play with yourself. This is a, a 
it's a self play you know you're playing with yourself on this one so i just i'm not sure uh how this fits into the grand scheme of things for net marble and this game and i really truly hope that this is just like i said a precursor to you know something that we can all partake in we can all participate in because it looks way too fun to be limited to these guys and uh hopefully it won't take very long before we get in on it guys so let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about alliance tournaments if you're in it please let me know i want to know what it looks like i want to know what the team setups are like if i'm right about my clash of clans kind of clan wars um you know comparison prediction and of course if you like what you see i hope to see you again tomorrow Take care.